for today's video. I just want to talk about what's going on in my mind recently. But if you're not into this kind of video, just come back again next week. I promise it will be a personal finance video. I was checking on my old videos and I've seen this. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the mundane. We let go of disguise oh. It's been a year since I last went out of town with my friends So this was in Bawan, Batangas It was actually during the last week of June And I was hesitant na sumama kasi it was a free diving activity And hindi ako marunong lumangoy Pero buti na lang, I'm glad na sumama ako Let me show you something This is the main reason why I survived that trip Nakalangoy ako dahil dito what I've noticed recently during the time of this pandemic is I'm getting emotionally distant to some of my friends. Kasi we're so used to hanging out and since hindi na nga pwede yun, we're not getting in touch anymore. And when we try to talk over the phone, uh, yung conversation namin just fell off easily kasi nga uh, we have nothing to talk about kasi there's nothing interesting happening in our lives recently. So I do want to switch sides to the people who are watching this video. So instead of me giving advice, now I need your advice. How do you maintain your relationship with your friends and what are you talking about? We've been under quarantine since mid-March and July na ngayon. So, it's three and a half months of not moving around. So, I assume na na-felt yun na yung news fatigue and yung toxic politics. So, what are you talking about with your friends recently? Another thing that I wanted to talk about is how do you feel not seeing your family or your friends or your relatives or your partner na that's supposed to come back to the country this year? For me, I have a friend who's in a long-distance relationship and yung girlfriend niya dapat was supposed to come back to the country this year and ang dami nilang plano but it was all cancelled. As a parent or bilang anak, how do you deal not seeing your family for another year again? I guess for me, this stems from not seeing my auntie and yung husband niya yung tito ko for the very first time uh, in a yearly basis kasi every year um uwi talaga sila. They were supposed to come back itong July but they decided to postpone because of the pandemic nga. And hindi na kami sure if tutuloy pa sila sa pag nila this December kasi nga, if you have to quarantine for 14 days and andito lang sila for 3 weeks, sayang lang yung uwi nila, ba? It's a big deal for me kasi they symbolize family time sa family namin. Siguro bilang Pinoy when we have a relative na uuwi, everybody parang drops whatever they're doing just to spend time with their family, ba? So pag uwi sila, it's a time where we really spend quality time with the family. We go out of town to take vacation, so this was in 2017, 2018, 2019, This will be the year that we will never get to take that time off. That's also the time where we really come together with the extended family, yung mga pinsan ni mami and their family. We hang around sa hometown namin sa Mai Hai or Kanaman. We have a huge dinner outside sa restaurant. I don't know, I just felt that yung quality time that I was looking forward to with my family was taken away from me this year. It is also my pass to a major break to take a pause to whatever work I'm doing or kind of to whatever stressful thing I'm doing. It's just a bummer not to be able to do this this year. This will just be a short video. So wait a sec. Let me just get yung playing cards ko. So this set of cards. I got it earlier this year. Siguro mga second week ng January. And I never thought na that would be the last event that I will be going to in a while. So basically that event brings random people together that just want to have yung uh, deep intimate conversation. So yung title ng event na is Beyond Small Talk. So basically what we do is we get a random card from this deck. And yun yung conversation starter namin from the people dun sa event na yun. So let me read one for you. If you had to come up with a new class that everyone is required to take in school, what would it be? So basically, you have to ask this question to the people around you and also you have to share your thoughts about this card and yun. So let me share to you my answer to this card. If there's a new class that I think people should be required to, to take in school, that would be human relations. Funny should be common sense, diba? But I noticed as I grow up, parang people doesn't know how to treat other people properly. Hindi ko magets why people tend to be so rude. Hindi ko magets why people tend to pull each other down. Hindi ko magets why people are so hot-headed na feeling na kailangan nilang kalabanin lahat ng mga tao sa mundo. So yun yung answer ko dun sa card na yun. And I also want to know your answer. What new class you think we should require our students to take? Okay, this is where I wanted to end this video. The reason why I go to events to meet random people is because it takes my breath away. Kinakabahan ako to 
approach random people. <laughs> so, yun, parang kahit ang dami mo na experience, lagi pa rin akong kinakabahan yung parang butterfly in my stomach. Before ako makipagkita sa mga tao or may presentation or kahit itong ganito kasi yung event lang. Nahihirapan akong hinga but I do it intentionally because I know na it's one of the ways that I can grow personally. Uploading new video every week is also one of the things that makes me nervous because it makes me think, will people watch it? Will people like it? Will people get mad at me? Alam mo yun, whenever I upload the video, I subject myself to a certain risk. I have to do it kasi I need to express myself and I wanted to reach the people who will appreciate my work. There's a quote saying, Life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. So I guess what I'm really trying to tell is that, ask yourself, when was the last time an experience took your breath away? And if you have a hard time remembering one, maybe you should reevaluate how you live your life. Hindi mo kailangan tumalon sa lumilipad na airplane with a parachute on your back to make an experience worth remembering. It could be as simple as saying compliments to the people around you. It could be by embracing your vulnerability to share your personal stories. By telling people what you really feel about them na hindi mo masabi-sabi. By going on a random date. I am here at Coffee B9 earlier by 30 minutes then after that it's showtime. Whatever it is, how simple it might be, for as long as it is meaningful to you and you feel discomfort, that is enough. That's where I would end this video. If you like the message ng video and you think you have a friend who might need it, kindly share this video to them. Reminders na lang, I would really appreciate you hit the like button, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!